What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fye here with my PGA 5 and 5. We're going to talk through my, it's really more than five plays, but we're going to talk about plays and pivots and try and do it in five minutes or so uh, on this weekend uh, Valspar Championship. Obviously, want to do a little better than last time. Uh, fifth in the uh, in the millionaire. I would, it would have been so fun to win a million. Uh, Sheets has finished second. Really good tournament for True DFS. We kind of nailed everything. So hopefully we can do it again. Let's start off with DraftKings, which is where I'm playing more. FanDuel tournaments absolutely suck. So uh, I would just I would like it if they would just make some real entries. Uh, 10K for first for a 333 is your biggest entry. It's just kind of silly at this day and age, uh, especially with what they're offering for other tournaments. But on DraftKings, we have uh, Hovland, Morikawa, JT, and Xander. That's how I have them ranked right now. Actually, I think Xander, I like. I have a little bit more, but he's a little cheaper than, than JT. That's partly why. I really like that group, and I will try to play one or two of those guys in most of my lineups. I don't mind anybody over 10K. I'll be mixing them in. The one right range that I'm not as high on is the 8K. I did list all the guys who I am looking at right now in the 8K, but there certainly are other options. Um, anyway, these are the guys who I'm, I'm leaning on. Uh, it's a great course for Hovland. It's a great course for Maury. Great course for JTM, great choice for Xander. So I, I really like all of these guys, and uh, I'm going to be very heavy on, on those guys. And if I'm playing one of them, I'm going to play one of them with Burns and Oosthausen or Oosthausen as my favorite plays in the 9K range, like a lot of other guys, too. I like Fitzpatrick, but the ownership is kind of getting to me. Lots of other plays you can get from our other video when you uh, that me and Sheets did earlier, um, but that's what I ended up with for this one. So. Another so another range of guys who are all similarly priced is Norin, Day, Bubba, and Bradley. Norin is my favorite of the bunch. Uh, I like the other two as pivots because Bradley is a lot. He's going to be crazy high owned, and I am okay with fading Keegan Bradley at high ownership. I understand he's in good form. I understand he's amazing on this course. As I mentioned, he's been incredible on day one on this course every time he's played it, basically. So if you want to play him in showdown as, as like a for the first day, maybe that's one way you could try to fade him overall. Um, I just think that Norin and, and Jason Day and Bubba at lower ownership are definitely more interesting to me, especially Alex Norin. I think Alex Norin has a good chance to win this tournament, by the way. Uh, and the next tier is I love the 7,200 guys. So these are my 7,200 guys in order. Well, no, not, not, not excuse me, not in order. Uh, Mito, Kazire, Adam Svensson, and Ortiz. I actually think Svensson is my favorite, which is really weird to say because Kazire has been really good to me and Mito is a guy I love. But I love Svensson. I think he gets a little bit lower ownership than the other two. And I think he's going to have a big tournament. Another Canadian that you can throw in there uh, into the mix here is Adam Hadwin. He's going to be pretty popular. But really like Svensson and Hadwin. Hadwin 7,900. All these are my 7,200 guys that I think are really strong plays. And that's why I listed them all together like this. But I would go Svensson. Mito, Kazire, Ortiz in that order, but you could take a shot on Ortiz just because the lower ownership. Then we get to the under 7K guys, just that I don't really feel as crazy about, but I do think that, you know, we've seen every tournament now, we've got like multiple 6K guys on every winning lineup, including mine last week, although I only had one, I mean, but one, at least one, um, you know, and one, and then maybe another low 70 ish hundred. Um, I really like all of these guys, uh, Perez, Hickok, Merritt, and Von Taylor. I don't know if it's necessary, depending on how you're building, but I kind of like going up and down lately. And that's sort of what I'll be doing is multiple guys in the 9K plus range, and then maybe one middling guy, multiple guys in that 7K range, and one guy down here. But I, it doesn't need to be that exact thing. There's plenty of ways to build this week. There's a lot of good players. These are just some guys who I'm using. Other guys who I'm using, I mentioned the uh, Adam Hadwin. Um, uh, Cameron Tringale, uh, uh, trying to see if there's anybody else I didn't include on our list. Uh, pretty much most of the, my other core is on our list. I like Brian Harmon and Aaron Wise, uh, Sam Ryder. I like a little bit who could probably have been included on this. Those are just some of the guys who I'm looking at this week. Uh, we hopefully have another great tournament run. Any questions, any thoughts? I'll be in discord. Hopefully we'll have some screenshot shares that are uh, hold up and actually win the million this time. Uh, and good luck to everybody this week. I hope that you guys, that, uh, if I don't take it down, I certainly hope that one of you guys do. And, uh, if not, there's plenty of other tournaments for us to win in between. So good luck, everybody. That's my five and five for this, uh, Valspar championship. And, uh, let's make some money y'all.